Okay, in this video here, I just want to go through setting up your machine definition and also defining your stock. Um, so, as you can see at the moment, I have all my geometry created um, and vitally important as well is I've put dimensions on to check that my geometry is correct. So, at this stage, I'm just going to go down to my levels tab and I have created the dimensions on a separate level, so I'm going to turn them off for the moment just for clarity so that you can just basically see the geometry that we need for machining. To set your machine definition, first of all, if I go to the machine tab on the top, um, and it's obviously mill. Now, the first time when you go into Mastercam, there may be no list in here, so I need to go to manage list, and I'm going to scroll down here and find the generic Haas 3-axis mill millimeters. Okay, So click on that and essentially what I'm doing is I'm adding this machine definition to the list. Okay, That still won't define the machine as such, so um, if I go back to my toolpaths you'll see this area here is blank. So again you need to go back up to mill and then I select my machine definition from here. Okay, and that then puts in machine group one. Okay, if I expand the properties in here then, uh, by clicking the little plus symbol on here, and if I go to the files tab, um, so I can see that I'm using a generic Haas and millimeters uh, machine control definition, and again, it's using a post, a Haas three axis mill post. Um, we can look at these two libraries and operation libraries later on. Um, Likewise, I can go to Tool Settings here on the tab, or I can hit this tab on here. And I'm going to put in my program number. So just enter in your program number here. And I often like to warn of duplicate tool numbers. And then I'm going to go to Stock Setup. The stock essentially is the raw material, the block, if you like, that you're going to machine this component from. Um, and at the moment, I'm just going to select uh, All Entities. And by selecting all entities, what it does is it picks up the size of this outside rectangle, which is the largest portion on the screen. And you can see that that's 96 by 96. And it's of zero thickness. All of these lines essentially are drawn on level zero. In here, I can expand the size of it and say, well, actually, my stock is 100 by 100 millimeters. Okay, and I'm going to say it's 30 millimeters high. And what you can see now in Mastercam, looking straight down, this red dot dash line that you see here is the boundary, basically, of the stock. So it's the raw material that this part is going to be created from. Right-click on the screen, and if I go to Isometric, you can see then here the solid model, or the the material, if you like, is going down. This is Z plus up here. So the material is going down um, 30 millimeters. Now, when I actually want to create a face mill operation on here, first of all. So I actually want to make sure that the stock is slightly higher so that, first of all, I can see um, what I'm actually machining with the face mill. But in addition to that, I can also check to see if I'm colliding. Um, so Mastercam, we can do checks for collision. And a collision is essentially if we wrap it into the job, not feed into the job, but if we wrap it into the job. So I'm going to go back to my stock setup on here. And again, you can see that the origin of the stock is set to the center of the block. And it's 48 by 48 from this point here to the center of the block. Okay, But my Z, I actually want to say that the Z of the stock is actually at Z.5 of a millimeter. Um, so if I green tick here, and then if I was to look at the front of the job, you can now see that the red dash line is above the blue line. So this is level zero here. If, so that's telling me that I've got half a millimeter essentially of material to take off the top of the block. So right click again and go back to isometric. Okay, just when we're looking at the stock, there's a couple of ways of looking at stock. So I can go to view, okay, 
and I can decide to display or hide the stock. So sometimes that can be handy. You want you don't want necessarily want to see it. And I can also decide to show the stock as a as a solid model if you like.